Good morning guys, here we are back at field one and we're going to try and rectify the terrible last day we had. It was awful. Uh, hopefully today we get a bit better. Some better targets, better results. The last day was very poor. But we can but try. If the stuff's not there to be found, it's not there. But I know there's plenty of junk to be found so that'll keep me busy. As you can see, I've got the macro racer back out, standard coil, and today I'm going to be trying this wonderful new shovel. I'll bring it round here so you can see it. The Roughneck Mini Shovel. Now the handle's a bit longer than you find on the Mini Shovels. The only thing I'll say I don't like is this handle. The handle's tilted forward. I'd have preferred a straight one, but that's me being fussy. Fiberglass shaft. It's a lot lighter. We'll see how we get on with it today. Here we have a signal. It's reading 82, 83. We'll get it dug. See what it is. Oh, a rusty iron ring. That certainly filled the macro. They have said though the targets with holes in it do tend to trick it. And there's the proof right there. Now oh well, check my hole and then on to the next one. Just dug this hole, it's reading up 95, which isn't great. I think it might be a load of junk, but we'll dig it out and see. Oh, it's going to be something stinking. It's going to be a stinking red brick. A red brick and some iron. Hmm. Now, oh well, to the next hole. Got a 82, 83 there. We'll give it a dig, see how we get on. <sighs> a live dig. I don't know why, it's only. An 80. Three, which is usually garbage, but you never know. What garbage have we got? <laughs> we have Fizz Fountain, I think that says. I'm guessing that's fizzy juice of some sort. Or pop, as they call it down in England. Or ginger, as they call it up in the central belt in Scotland. Still junk, but at least it's something half interesting. To the next hole. Here we go, just dug an 83, it's usually kind of aluminium and stuff like that, or aluminium, as the Americans like to say. Oh, oh, oh that is quite nice. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, dancer. That's a nice one. Oh, just two seconds till I get this wee, wee brush out. I'll we'll give it a scrub. Scrub a dub a dub. Two seconds. Well, guys, there it's there. Try and get in better light for you. Oh. There we go. Look at that. Is it not an absolute beauty? God, I. Superb. I don't know what it is, if anybody knows leave a comment but that there has made my my trip worth it already I'm chuffed with that that's a cracker to the next hole guys yeehaw here we go guys we've got a squeaker <laughs> I have no idea what this is going to be 78 76 78 I'll dig it and let you see Here we go, let's find out what it is. I could have swore it was in, in the cloud, but it says it's down here. I think we might have a bit more digging to do. Oh, that's that. Ah, I see. There's something in this. Well, I found what it was. It's a coin. It's a very, very badly worn coin. And this phone needs a clean because it's absolutely caked in dirt. I don't even know if you can see that. I'll give it a clean show you at the roundup. To the next hole. Another hit here, guys. Very jumpy signal. I've got the sneaky feeling it's a piece of iron junk. But I'm going to dig it anyway. Here we are. Let's have a look and see what's in this hole. It's in there somewhere. Ooh, it's in here. Is it gold? Is it silver? Or is it an absolute piece of junk? Oh, oh, oh. Well, it's been round at one time. Oh, look at that. I also just found a wee button, same kind of material. Uh, I'll show you the roundup, and it's. It's in a state. I think this could have been a button by the looks of it. Aye, it's junk now. To the next hole, guys. Another hole, guys. Hmm. Have we here? 
Is it another button? Holy Christ, is it? I think it is, you know. OMG! They lost a lot of buttons in this place, I can tell you that. Oh, God. Shh, machine, be quiet. That's it. Talking to the, the pinpointer, chattering away, I'll switch it off. Aye, uh, another button guys. Oh well, the kind of novelty's worn off after you get that big shiny silver looking one. With the eagle and stuff on it. These wee things just don't cut it. <sighs> but it's still nice to get something. To the next hole guys. Oh dear, look at that. Rusty CDs, would you believe it? Rusty CDs. I don't actually know what they are. Oh, I'll tell you what they are. They're junk. Well, there you are, guys. That's me broken. The little roughneck shovel. And I have to say, it's a fantastic little shovel. Absolutely brilliant. I think I'll be taking that from now on. I can ditch this big round mouth. See the difference? And I've got I've got the army foldable one in there, the NATO edition and a stainless. I'll do a little a little video of shovels because I've been through quite a few shovels. So I'll make a video and show you what's hot, what's not, what ones break and what ones I think will last. This seems to do the job. And I might even red my boot out. Look at that. Shocking. Bye for now, chaps. How are you doing, guys? Time for the roundup. Uh, we did not too bad today. Better than the last day, that's for sure. A few buttons. Um, they're obliterated, practically. And a coin, again, very, very badly corroded. A couple of bottle tops, some lead, lots and lots of iron as usual, big, big, massive chunks of iron. A lot of it has to get left at the farm and bend because it's just far too big. Mastitis tubes for the cows again. Um, we nuts and bolts and washers. Again, I flung most of the junk away and I've just kept a little of what I got in the best finds. So here they are. There you go guys, the obligatory huge big chunks of iron, a couple of iron rings, a bit of black glass. Now I've kept that because I was watching a video, it was Deep Digger Dan's charity, uh, Rays of Sunshine I think it's called, and on it he's got a lady called Jane on it and she says that all the old glass is actually green, so I've kept this. I'm going to wash it and hold it to the light and see if it's green. But there we have, we've got that old bottle top. It's not even going to focus, there we go. Piss fountain. And we've got the mastitis cream for the coos. Another old bottle top. Junk. Lead. I think it, I'm not sure, but there was another wee bit that came off. I thought it was a bag seal at first, but it's too wee and flimsy. And then you've got washers, nuts, big chunk of lead. And then we've got, if it'll focus, come on. There you are, there's button badly corroded. The front has got writing on the back, but I can't get it because it's too badly corroded. Now the back of it, well that's actually the front of it, should I say I don't know if you can see that, but it's got like a little, if I can stop shaking, I'm a very shaky person, I'm going to have to get a gimbal or something. Come on. There. See that? It's, it's got a lattice on it, a lattice effect, which is quite cool. Uh, an old tom back, it's got writing on the back, can't really see it just now, but I'll be able to get it. 
if I clean it up I think. A bit of an old button. The old coin. Can't see anything on that so I'll put it in solution as well. This one is actually from the other day and I showed you and I said I would show you the roundup. I don't know if I did so that's it. It's a mess. I can't get anything off of that. This, not sure what it was. I thought it was a button but it's very heavy. Um, I'm not quite sure what it is. And of course this has to be the find of the day. It's an absolute beauty in my eyes. It's, let's try and get get a nice picture of it for you. I think that's about as good as you're going to get with this camera. But anyway, it says around it, Fax Mentis um, Honesti Gloria, which means the torch of light seeks the noble mind, something like that. And it was for nobility, it was a, a baronet, and it's quite possible that this is the, the Agnew Eagle, and you've got a wee badge there, which has got the, the lion rampant and the saltire. So it's definitely to do with nobility, so it's a really cool little find. I just need to, here we go, that's a better picture. I just need to go to the museum or send a picture off to the treasure trove and try and find out more. I'll also pop up to Loch Nau Castle, because that was the home of the Agnews around here, and I'll speak to the groundsman up there, because I've, I've, I've spoke to him a few times in the past, and he's a nice chap, and he also likes metal detecting. But that's it for, for the, this time, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Who knows, I might go somewhere else just for a change of scenery, because I'm getting fed up doing that field, because it's hard work with all the trash. But anyway, I hope this redeems the last poor day I had a little. And I'll catch you in the next video. By the new. Oh, this here gets a bendy thumbs up from me. Hey, hey. bye.